Oh, shoot. <clears throat> Jersey here, and today we are back on the Crooked Man. So, I got back from school, and you know it's like dark right now, because it is like 10 o'clock, and I like slept the whole day. So, like, I usually like have, to, I usually wake up early to compensate for messing up my sleep schedule with so many naps, so I could probably last to like 12 o'clock. And then, like, wake up at 6 o'clock, you know. It's still good, like. Y'all ever do that sometimes? You just, like, think you have this bank of sleep that you save your hours into, but, like, no. Uh, I think this is our, yeah, this one, yay. So, we got back from that other place, and we found a note to another place, so... You know it. Okay, so apparently we killed the crooked man in the other time, but there's gotta be something other hor horrendous thing in this place. So we'll see how. Maybe we'll meet him again. You know, our nice buddy, Julius Stone Law School, set for demolition. No entry. Well, hey, this is the school from the that leaflet. Then maybe he is here after. Why would he be in there for demolition? What? Oh, that is not fun. I'm okay. I'm gonna put my cursor like out of the way. Oh no! Oh, <laughs> let's go into the girls' bathroom first. Okay, well, never mind. I don't like the wind. The wind does not sound great. Exam results are posted here. Ooh. Oh boy. Uh, I'm saving already because. <laughs> Men's bath. Okay, not going there? What about here? The way to the lecture hallway, it's locked. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, is it in there? Oh, okay. What is this? Faculty room? Ooh, can we get some goodie? Vending machines don't work. But is there stuff inside them? Because, I mean, if this place about to get demolished, you know. Use your manly strength, bust it open, and get some food, you know? Like, you probably haven't eaten in a while. Oh, a shiny. <clears throat> the nameplate reads Stacy Lizzie. There's a key by it. Got the infirmary key. Oh, nice. Copy machine. I don't, I don't know. I just keep having this tendency to save so much. Trash can is overflowing. There's nothing in it. <laughs> Paper reads, notice about keys. Room managers for the month, don't lose the keys. Parlor, Stacy Lizzie. R okay, she lost hers already. You know, that isn't good. Reference room, Ray Twain. Lecture hall, John Keith. Uh, oh, is it saying what rooms they're in? Computer room, or no, that's the rooms they have. Friends, more lecture rooms. Cindy Pe Peterson, storehouse. Eugene McGuire. You know when I when I introduced it, did I even say we were playing Crooked Man? Well, we are. If you don't know, <laughs> line with magazines and the like. Okay. Cardboard full equipment. Wait, completely dark out. Oh, I swear this dude is like the most. He's like really brave and stupid. Okay. They lost their keys. Okay, yeah, I think they lost their, their keys. Um so those were all the the staff that worked here. Not many staff in a law school. There's usually like a lot more. Alright. Oh shoot, dang it. I'm sorry, I had the fan on again. It's hot. <laughs> um. Okay, let's go just to the other place. Janitor's room. Ooh. Oh, okay. Hi, chairs. Nothing inside. Nothing inside. A memo about necessary repairs. Deep fissure in the wall behind the eastern bookshelves in the basement storehouse. Repairs needed. Eastern bookshelves in the basement storehouse. 
Okay, I'll, I'll try to remember that. List of faculty. Criminal law, John Keith, civil law, and Robertson. International law, Sidney Pearson. Criminology, Franz Moore. Philosophy of law, Lefty Lewis. Lefty Lewis, ooh. Legal history, Ray Twain. Comparative jurisprudence, ooh, fancy. Huge McGuire, Dr. Stacy Lizzie. Okay. Empty trash can. Contains cleaning tools and no monsters. All right. Oh, there's like one missing box and that bothers me. What's this? Okay. Infirmary. Oh boy. Uh, is there gonna be a dead body in here? Hello. <laughs> no, there's gonna be some behind the curtain. I hear my deep voice from being sick. It's like, like. Lined with medicines and such? Okay. Got some wait, drugs. Wait, what? Found the parlor key in one of the drawers. Oh, nice. Books about medical treatment. I don't want to go to where this is. I'll just s s spam the save. Oh, I can go to sleep? Is there... Sure there's nothing here? Is there... Oh, I'm a sleepy. Yay. Okay, no, no more sleepy, sleepy bad in this place. Hey, let's go. Okay, do we go upstairs or downstairs? I usually like going upstairs because basements are, ugh. I prefer even attics over basements, you know? I think that's just logical. Oh, hi there, Shadow Man. Are you our new buddy? Was there someone there? I couldn't really see them in the dark. Oh my gosh, it's dark in here too? How can you, how can you just like, and why are these on the floor? What the heck? They just get on the wall. Like, how are you just like so not that afraid enough? Cause you're just exploring this abandoned building at midnight by yourself, unarmed, pretty much. Do I still have my knife? No, no I don't. Reference room. Yeah, see, son, that's not how we all gonna die. Fire, hi fire hydrant. Oh, that's that's interesting. Fire hydrant indoor. There's a lot of fire stuff. Like they really prepared for a fire. Oh, oh, yo, this looks like the the Misa room with the flower. I always get references back to that because I freaking died from that flower. That was. Look, yo, yo, wait, what? Low, the if I look at just the shadows, it says like yo, yo, what? What's this? I guess it's wire art or something. Not sure what's supposed to be though. Hmm, apparently, it was made by Ray Twain, one of the lecturers. What? Are we gonna throw it in the trash? No. <laughs> Anthologies and albums. Okay, clock. Can I see it again? I feel like it says something. Like, is this binary or? Like, one zero, one zero one, one one one. What could this be? Maybe I'll understand later. Do, 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 do. No, so we got nothing useful from there except that wire clue, but don't know. Oh, do I have to go to the basement? Or, well, there's still other place. Ooh, Lefty Lewis, what up? Ooh, what's this? A box of tools? Got a, a screwdriver, a crowbar, and a hammer. That's more like it. Okay. Wait in the... The drawers hold miscellaneous things. Okay. Miscellaneous things. Empty shelves for filing. Nothing in the fridge. Aw. Um, lots of books. Okay, nothing. Okay, tools are good. I don't mind tools. Paper. About topics. Okay. Wait, whose room is this? Huge McGuire, the fancy dude who teaches fancy topics. What's this? 
Ugh. It's not okay. I can't read that. Okay. Ooh. Some books. Lots of books. Lots of books. Lots of books. What is that? An open security box. No, nothing in there. Oh, guess someone robbed it before us, huh? Oh, oh! Surprisingly, these rooms have a lot of stuff not in them. Uh, I mean, I guess that makes sense. It's like prepared to be demolished, so they would like clean it out. But mm. oh no! Does that mean we have to go to the basement? Okay, if you say so. We oh, okay. Doors are stubborn and won't open. Oh, those darn stubborn things. Okay, left or right, guys? Uh, you should go right, because right is always right, right? <laughs> oh, the basement reference room is blocked from the other side. Okay, wow. Never mind then. Looks like a storeroom. Locked. Okay. Oh, there's another floor going upwards. Okay, y'all, I'm kind of, mm, well, it, even though I slept all day, it's still kind of late uh, in school day standard. The water won't come out. Okay, yay, we found another floor. <laughs> okay, maybe this school's a, a decently big. Contains cleaning tools. Okay, what is this? Cindy Pearson. Hey, okay. So we didn't hit a robot. I'm still trying to figure out that wire art though. Like, it's really tripping me up. Lots of books, lots of books. Empty trash can, mm -hmm. nothing in the refrigerator. Oh, a lock security box. Oh, uh, I guess I don't have the passcode. Lots of books. Are we gonna go get that open? Hold up, what's this? Looks like some sort of diary. Oh. Miss, mi, 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 is that Mitchell or Michelle? M Mitchell's? Okay, I'm gonna say Mitchell. Mitchell's dissertation made it into a scientific magazine. I'm so happy for him. I knew when he joined my class, he'd be a prodigy. I also realized he and I have the same birthday. I use my birthday as a security code, so I feel like maybe I should change it. Oh, that's, yeah. Okay, we still don't know her birthday though, but. Wow. And Robinson. Locked with a six digit pin. Alright. It's not really input puzzle like the other one. So I guess we'll just know and then do it automatically. John Key. Another fire hydrant. Oh, a shiny. Oh, I love shinies. Documents are strewn on the desk. The key to the room is among them. Got the key to John Key's room. Alright. Lots of books. So they leave in all these books here to be demolished. Because usually, you know, school books are really expensive. So that's, pr that's a real waste, actually. Some sort of notebook. Times are changing. Our existing laws cannot serve us anymore. We must surpass the father of our law to find the true answer. Okay, philosophical. What's this? Security box that requires a passcode. Okay, y'all just leaving all your stuff up in here. Okay, so we got... So we got the room to his key. I mean... We got the key to his room, but it's already open. So like, what? What's the point? Okay. Then maybe the security button. No, that's a lock with. Okay. Let's go this way. Hey, we better find something here. Okay. Ray Twain. Hey, another shiny. Lots of books. Why does this law school have math books? Boy, I'm terrible at math. I mean, I think even if a binary number is made up of binary digits known as bits. Oh. See, that thing downstairs, that probably was binary. That's what I was thinking. Okay, 1 equals 1. 2 equals 10. 
3 equals 11, 4 equals 100? Wait, nanny? <laughs> okay, hold up. Okay, it wasn't the normal binary that I was thinking of, but I'm gonna write this down because that's what the that's what the wire thing downstairs was. That's probably a passcode to something. So where's my freaking pen? Oh, I did that fall down? Gosh darn! Let me. It's another diary. Wait, what the freak? Indeed, law two needs a numeric representation. After all, basic things such as on or off, zero, one can re represent much more complex numbers. Yes, I learned binary in my computer science class. Using the smallest elements to produce new things is a way of thinking I hold in high esteem, though perhaps it's more the artistic notion that captivates me more than the mathematics. Okay, cool. Okay, I think everything needs... Oh, so this one is actually, maybe this is the one with the binary code. Shelves for filing reports, no power. Aw, well, you just try to fit that com whole computer in your pocket or something. What is this? Franz Moore. Ooh, okay. Dang, they have a lot of security boxes. Um, what's the books? Nothing. Looks like some sort of diary. I lost a note with my security box password, so I couldn't get into the computer room and the headmaster got angry at me. This is the worst. I thought I had it when I was writing for a seminar in the reference room. Maybe I left it in a book somehow? I should go look. If I used my ID as a password like Andrew does, then I wouldn't forget, but that's risky. Of course, if you just use a random number, then you have my problem. Ooh. Shelves are empty, shelves are empty. Trash can. Okay. Um let's go solve that binary. And Andrew is this Andrew's room? Okay, so they referencing each other, but there's too many of them. I don't remember who's who. So zero is so it's two. One zero one five. And one one. No one one. One one. One 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 one. That's fifteen. So two five one five, or two five fifteen, if you want to say it like that. Um. Okay. Now where would that go to? Oh, here. Two five one five. Ooh, did it work? Hey, yo, you're <laughs> See, I'm so genius. Actually, yeah, I could go up to my computer science teacher tomorrow and be like, Mr. Tolliver, thank you for teaching me binary. It helped me when I was playing a crooked man horror game. Maybe check out my channel. No, no, no. no. <laughs> <coughs> Keto reference room. Heck yeah. All right. Nice. Let's just save before we. I, I don't know. what What's the monster? <gasps> okay, I just jinxed her some. I was like, hey, where's the monster? He's like, I come and free my back of me. Wug! Oh, shoot. Did he just push me down the stairs? Oh, I need life alert. Hey, who was that? Oh. What the? Who's this? Some red haired dude? Oh my goodness. Is that that dude from My Hero Acting? <laughs> Who'd you be? What are you doing in this school, you shady punk? Oh. Sh shady punk. I'm just looking for some. Oh, so is this like a faculty member? You shoved me out of the blue. Who are you? Give me a name or I'm calling the police on you. David Hoover. I'm looking for a guy who I think was here. I'm not a robber or anything. Hmm. <laughs> you sure? As if a robber would say they were one. Well, I did borrow some stuff, but we're not going to talk about that. W what do you want? A permit? Now, you tell me who you are if you're going to ask me. I'm D. I graduated from the school. So I came to bring back some memories. Oh. D, that's your name? Not actually the oddest one I've heard, but 
It's a nickname, dummy. You think I'd tell some shady guy my real name? Pfft. What a little brat. Wait, wasn't there a dude who, like, some teacher said was a prodigy? No, that was Mitchell. But I guess you ain't stolen anything yet. I'm just wandering, so don't mind me. Smell ya. Okay, at least there's good to know there's another human being in here, just like how Sissy was in the other area. So that's actually, like, relieving. But then there always is a chance for them to die again, so... Oh, there, here's the reference room. My gosh. Okay, is this, like, the library of references for, like, all the books and stuff? Okay. They see that people despise those who think similar to them or who are in similar circumstances. But humans are curious in that they can hide any outward appearance of goodwill or hatred. Though they are too faced deep down, they can make that idea seem unthinkable. You may despise someone much like you, but you may in your heart have affection for them. The improbable is not impossible. I never understood this philosophy stuff. Wouldn't you just dislike people you don't like? <laughs> well, achievement unlocked self-loathing. You hate what you're like. Mm. Or it's like you become what you hate. So edgy, you know? <laughs> okay, uh, I'm not gonna search through all these. Uh, oh. Record books and check the. Oh, okay, this. Oh. Okay, this overwritten. My other save. That's fine, I guess. Announcements of new arrivals and the like. Oh. Okay, I hope I don't get jump scared. <laughs> George White, 1726 to 1806, a signatory of the Declaration of Independence. He is sometimes called the father of American law for teaching the first class in classes in jurisprudence. So they want to overcome this dude. It's attached to the wall, but the screw's a little loose. If I had the right tool, I should unscrew it. Well, I, I mean, I got. I, Oh, it worked. Unscrewed the screw. Is it, there's writing behind this? 1647? Is it a code for something? Okay, I'm going to write that down. 1647. Got you. Okay. Very cryptic. Ooh. Um, the shelves in the basement are for staff only. Those who require books from the basement must sign a form and be accompanied by staff. Taking any materials out is prohibited. Okay, now we about to just steal everything. Caring for carrying books to the basement. There's no powers. Okay. So, good. I didn't want to go down a elevator anyway. Okay, 1647. That probably goes to some sort of security box. So let's just go find one. Yeah, I think they're all upstairs mostly, so... Da, 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 da. Maybe we get to see D again. Ooh. Okay, there's one in here. Okay, some of them, like, they pull up a menu and some of them don't. So maybe some of them aren't meant to be opened. Okay. One... Six, four, seven. Oh, yes. There's a key to the lecture hallway. There we go. Heck yeah. Look, okay, I don't have to write anything down. I was like, we got the. <laughs> Hello? Look! What, what? Don't tell me that's a dead body, I swear. <gasps> you again! <laughs> Bro, D, you, you here, bro? Why is it here? Back in the hotel, I thought. Oh my gosh, man. Dang it. I'll think about Lair. Gotta run. Okay, about to get this ankle work. Oh, oh. <gasps> what? You told me to run. Oh, uh, okay. <coughs> John, this is John Key's room, I think, so. I just gotta break his ankles real quick. Na, 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 na. All right, that's the answer, guys. Wow. Okay. 
Uh, lock it. Yes! <laughs> Surely they'll keep it in. Who? But this is so bizarre. I mean, back at the hotel, I... And the hotel's hours away, isn't it? Oh, shoot. Yeah, how the... Could it really be following me? Why? How? God, this is driving me nuts. Or am I hallucinating this thing? No. No. Then again, it did attack Sissy, so it can't be my imagination. It exists. Monster, that is. Oh, God. D, if this monster is here, I have to warn D. Tell him he's got to get out of here. Oh, shoot. Sis? Yeah, we... If he doesn't hear that banging... You know, he, he, bro, what if he's already dead? That's just messed up. Well, oh, lecture hallway. There we go. Lecture room. Too. Okay, let's go in order. No, in order. There we go. Nice and synth. Friends, faculty, and staff, I thank you for coming today. Today is for us the best day of our lives because today we leave the nest of our school and begin our climb to adulthood. Those who passed the bar exam, those who didn't, those becoming clerks or notaries or teachers, all of us will be graduating from this school and we owe a great debt to it. Though even if they manage to graduate, some of us may need to pull a little more time into their studies. Where's this sound coming from? But these graduates have one thing in common. They're filled with hope for their future. They're ready to challenge what lies ahead. A toast to our dreams, to our yet unsure futures. May we have God's grace. Ooh, those really low quality claps. Oh, that was a tape. D, how did you get into this lecture room? Wasn't the hallway locked? Eh, you forget I'm a graduate here? I know all the secret ways, dummy. Huh, well, L, what are you listening to, a tape? Yeah, from my graduation day. Man, has it really been three years? I was getting nostalgic for the place and even abandoned. It hasn't really changed. It's just like it was when I was taking classes. Studying was wearing me out, so I came here for a breather. It's nice to have places full of memories like this. Oh, I see a shiny. You graduated, but you're still studying? Hey, lay off it. Yeah, I couldn't pass the bar exam, so I'm cramming at home now. Oh, ooh, he has freckles. Next up's gonna be my sixth attempt. Ooh, there were lots of great guys in my class. Most of them passed in one shot. Being a lawyer has been my dream since I was a kid. So I was so happy when I got accepted here. Felt I was one step closer to making it come true. The work was rough, but, and I am just barely managed to graduate. I think it's my kind helpful professors that did it i'll pass next time for sure i mean it's my sixth time anymore and i'll be way behind my classmates that's rough man well it's good to be motivated but it's dangerous here you should get out of here soon huh dangerous what it's sort of hard to explain <laughs> there's kind of a monster here it'll attack you if it finds you I thought you were just some weird old guy wandering in abandoned school, but dang, you really are nuts. <laughs> Seriously, a monster? Even little girls don't believe that stuff. You're being a total doofus. Boy, I don't want you to die. Do you enjoy making fun of people? And I don't think I'm much older than... <clears throat> don't try and debate with me, all right? I'm a talented soon-to-be lawyer. You're being no match for me. Oh, God. Do what you want, but don't say I didn't warn you. Yeah, I will do that, thanks. Like I need a shady punk like you. Tell me what to do around my alma mater. Oh my gosh. Hey, Paul, I, I got in. What, really? You got in to flight school? Oh, the tape. Where's the tape coming from? So is that name, like, Paul? That's crazy. Oh, so is this, wait, that's crazy, David. I can't even do a handstand. You can really do it if you try, man. Oh, is he getting a memory of his friend? Oh, haha, <laughs> thanks, but it doesn't make me a pilot yet. I still have to pass the exam. 
man, dude, you totally will be. And make sure to give me a ride. I love to fly above a city sometime. I'm not going to fly passenger planes. I, it's not that kind of school. Don't sweat the details. I'm glad for you. You did good. Hey, I'll take you to lunch today. Oh, how wholesome. Back then, I wasn't really thinking. I was just going wherever I wanted. Maybe D is like that too. Yeah, maybe it's like that book saying that we actually might like what we hate or something. Maybe that's this situation. Because even though he's being kind of a prick, we probably have empathy for him. The school newspaper is posted up. Julia Stone Law School Topics of the Week. Today, we must pay tribute to our friend Mitchell for his latest achievement, his dissertation, in regards to current international law, has made an appearance in Regal Collection. Majoring in global jurisprudence in Cindy Peterson's class, he continues to study hard in the hopes of becoming an international lawyer after graduation. Below is the full text of the interview between Mitchell Statham. Okay. Birthday, 6 slash 19, age 20, residence. Okay, I'm going to just copy that because why not? 6 slash 19. Mitchell's. Mitchell birthday and age 20. Okay. Um, yeah, it's probably something. Um, but we are reaching around like the 40 minute mark, so I'm gonna save right here. So, okay, hopefully, D doesn't get killed by his own stupidity or by the monster. And yeah, the monster followed us back, so that's nice. We have our boy again. But actually, I think this place, even though it's sort of abandoned law school, you know, when they have another person here, I actually noticed, like, why are there so many people going into abandoned buildings? Like, gosh darn, but yeah, we. Oh, okay, I don't know what I was gonna say. <laughs> so, thank you guys so much for watching, and remember, feel the burn!